All right, so this video is on something I'm not really in love with doing, but it's definitely part of the job. So it's gonna be on how I finish up my jobs with a buff, if I have any nibs, and uh, what I use and what products I use and how I recommend doing it. I don't like to sand my panels completely, I just hit nibs. So I try to paint my stuff as clean as possible, just like any painter would. But this video is gonna be on how I handle my nibs and how I finish them up, guys. All right, so we'll start off on this trunk here. And it's nice to be able to see what you're doing while you're in the booth. So I actually have, this was painted last night. You guys seen that last video I did. So while you're in here, if you painted the job and it's definitely hard, you can see your nibs. So. I like to mark them real quick just to identify them while I have the light of the booth and uh, that'll help you out. So I usually just hit my stuff quick. That way when I get it out, I don't have to go looking for it because you can really get a good eye while you're in here with all the light that they have from the booth. So just go ahead and knock them. That way you can uh, show where they're at. And then once you get out of the booth, we'll go ahead and finish them up because you don't want to do a lot of sanding in the booth. So that little bit of sanding that I'm doing isn't going to be very, you know, making any dust. So this right here is clean. This panel came out nice and I usually feel over them. If I don't see anything, usually you could use your hand and try to find a nib. So that's the way I do it. And I try to get a clean job. That way I don't have to do a lot of buffing. So there's one there. And like I said, I'll just go ahead and do that to show where they're at and then I'll handle the rest outside. So let's go ahead and uh, get these out of here and I'll show you what I use and how I do it. All right, so here's the little rig I got set up for all my buffing. I haven't showed you guys this or actually I did show you guys in one of my videos. I have a video of this cart, but this is what I use to buff and I use the Milwaukee cordless uh, M18 buffer and I have the small one also. So and at the moment I'm using this stuff here. It's a super cut super fast compound and that's the company name and I'm actually finishing it up with the second step of the 3M so I use the white pad for the compound and then I use my black pad for that 3M step so that's the setup and I'll show you what I do like I said I already marked my nibs that way when I come out I know right where they're at I don't have to go looking for them so let's go ahead and uh Hit these a little bit more and I'll show you how I do it. All right, so first things first, I got my DA. I got my 1500 grit and uh, we're gonna go ahead and hook that up and start hitting it. So I hit it with 15 and uh, this thing wasn't too dirty. So it was just those three spots and then I'll go right to my uh, 2000 that I've showed you guys before in the videos for the uh, nibbin of the base. And I do this wet, so. And I don't have a, a interface pad on this because this actually has a little bit of foam to it and it actually helps it sand it better than having that too soft and not actually sanding the panel, so. We'll go over that. And then I go right to my uh, 3000. And it's the same kind of setup with this foam on it. And I always blend it out a little further. That way you don't see the nib, you know, the area you sand. And like I said, this is a factory orange peel. So we're not trying to make this slick. Wipe it off 
and uh, see what we got. So that's basically how I do it. And I like these stands because you can buff it on it, lock the wheels on it, and it lets you buff right on the stand. So I'll let that dry a minute. We'll come back and uh, hit it with the buffer. And I'm using the uh, 3M waffle white pad with this here super fast. This stuff works good, especially after you hit it with that 3000. I'll go over it one more time and then I'll go right to the uh, black pad so right now I like using the uh, 3M after this stuff here Sometimes I'll run over the whole panel just to give it a little bit more uh, gloss because sometimes it will die out a little bit. And when you hit it with that compound, it just brightens it back up. So I'll run over the panel lightly with it. Then I'll go ahead and wipe it. Make sure you get all the compound off before you get to that second pad because you don't want that on the actual second pad. So make sure you uh, wipe it off clean before you get to that black pad because you'll just be putting that same thing back on here and you're trying to cut it finer with a different polish. So, so for 10 years, when I painted at a shop, I was at a real production shop. I didn't have to buff anything. I always knew how to buff, of course, but they had a detail shop that did all the buffing. That way you could be productive because there's no time to really buff cars when you're a painter and it always slows everything down. So I try to get the cleanest job I can and I'm sure you guys all do too, but we do get nibs here and there. So let's hit it with this uh, black pad and this 3M polish. Make sure you always have backup of these batteries because they don't last that long. So I got quite a few of them.
one more time with this. and then we'll wipe it off one more time and that should be it so that's how i do it and you guys asked to see it so i wanted to show you guys what i do so so that's the steps i do i do 1500 2000 and 3000 and uh it gives you a good finish so let me show you this all finished up and uh let me know what you guys use and what you guys like and how this came out so all right so that's the finished product it's got a factory peel no dirt and uh that's what i do when i'm buffing so i definitely don't want to buff the least amount i have to is the better and uh but we all have to buff so that's it there, all finished up. And those are the steps that I use. So if you guys are uh, wanting to pick up one of these Milwaukee buffers, I definitely recommend it because you can get to anywhere you want to in the shop and buff something you know, on the fly. So if you see a little spot, somebody's in the body shop with a job, you can get to it quick and hit it and roll this little cart that I picked up at Harbor Freight is what I'm using. So hope you guys got something out of this one. Uh, one of you were asking me about what I do and I wanted to show it to you. So thanks for watching and see you next time.